Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna discuss this hibiscus tea rinse that I've been doing lately on my hair. And this recipe will give you a full mason jars worth, plus you'll even have a color applicator bottles worth to put in your hair. So you'll have a lot for multiple rinses. To start off, we're gonna have our dry ingredients, um, three tablespoons of hibiscus flowers. And then we're also going to do the same amount of flax seeds. And optional, you can also add comfrey. And I just had added about like 10 drops, you know, I had this around the house, but you don't have to use it. So I'm gonna start off with eight cups of water. So we're going to go ahead and add our dry ingredients, add the hibiscus flowers first. And these I just got from my local like Hispanic market. You can get them anywhere. And then you're going to add your three tablespoons of flax seeds. And this is before I've even turned on the heat. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, uh, mix it up with a little spoon, just, you know, get get the juices flowing <laughs> and then I'm going to turn the heat up and I'm going to get it just to the point where it's boiling as you can see here so right when it starts to boil you don't want it to boil for too long you know you just want to like turn it down and then you're gonna let it like simmer for about five minutes so as it's simmering, you're gonna be stirring it. As you can see here, this is what it looks like. And the color is going to be super, super red. So if you have a color job on your hair that you don't wanna mess up, this is not the rinse for you because it is very, very red. Um, and then you're just going to remove your pot from the heat. You know, just place it down there. And then let it cool down for about, you know, five minutes. Now you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna strain it. If you have a bigger strainer that can strain out your flax seeds, <laughs> go ahead and do so. But I'm just using this itty bitty baby one because that's all I had, y'all. <laughs> it got the job done, you know, so it's all good. <laughs> so keep straining it. For the purpose of this video, I just put it into a bowl. It was, you know, still pretty warm, but otherwise I would just let it completely cool. And then I took the leftovers of the flowers and seeds and I put them into my strainer and then what I did was I just pressed them with a spoon to make sure that I just you know got all the good stuff out of there so I wasn't throwing it all away you know what I mean <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and add my comfrey remember we're gonna add those 10 drops so this I just had around the house I got them from my local health food store and it's so good for your hair, so moisturizing. I love comfrey and I always add it whenever I get a chance for any natural hair recipes. And don't forget to just shake things up. You know, you want this mixture to be completely mixed. And here you can see I'm adding this to my scalp and I really like to rub it in and it's so moisturizing, you guys. When I tell you my hair just felt like, uh, it felt like heaven. I was just like, shoot, I need to do this like every time I wash my hair. And sorry if it's not the best lighting, but I just wanted to show you guys what this looks like, you know, when I'm applying it. Again, as you can see, it is really red, so whatever you're using to rinse your hair in, just make sure you scrub it afterwards, otherwise it will stain. And then I just scrunch out any excess and I do my normal um, t-shirt dry. So don't forget, you guys, to watch my previous video. I do have a giveaway going on on my channel, and I'm giving away the Kylie Burgundy palette to one lucky person. So make sure you go ahead and check those details out. I'll have the details in the description box, and I wish all of you guys good luck and have a fabulous day. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!